Hey everyone, Chris here. Thanks a lot for clicking on to the Sabbatical Story channel. We're out here on a Lake Julia today in DuPont State Forest. Beautiful day today. We're loving it. I think today's today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? No, today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. And uh, we're at Lake Julia. It's beautiful out here. We're the only ones out here today. It's awesome. And uh, you can see the, the reflection on the water and stuff. We're just having a great time out here. And so um, anyway, I'm gonna get my mind on what we're here to talk about today. So what I wanna talk about today is minimalism and minimalist for sabbaticals. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I talk a lot about how to save money, how to amass enough wealth, you know, for, uh, for a year off or six months or whatever it is that you wanna do, however long that you wanna take off and, 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 and pay for whatever it is that you wanna do on your sabbatical. A big part of what helped us was living a minimalist lifestyle. So let me help you define that a little bit because I, I wanted to spell this just a little. A lot of people think, you know, because I did, I don't want to put words in your mouth, of course, but the first time I heard minimalism, I kind of got this vision in my head of like this tiny house and, <laughs> you know, like trading in your car for a moped or something like that. And, you know, not to say that you can't do that, but that's not the extremity <laughs> that I'm trying to portray when I say minimalism for a sabbatical. Of course, you can take it as far as you want to, but the point of this video is really to help you define what minimalism is going to mean to you. Um, and I'll try to draw some parallel lines to what we did. So one of the first things I did was research minimalism, and there's some great websites out there, and I'll put a couple of them in the description below. Uh, one of them is called theminimalists.com, and uh, these two guys, you know, kind of sold all their stuff and, and live a minimalist, minimalist lifestyle, and they excuse me, they, um, you know, they put everything on their website about what they did and, and how you can do the same thing. And I, and I followed suit with a lot of that stuff. So one of the exercises that maybe you can try that we did is take a look at all the stuff that you own. And I mean everything. I mean like your house, your car, your furniture, your clothes, books and CDs. I mean, just like everything that you've got. And think about what is it that you use all the time you know what is it that is meaningful to you that is truly something that you couldn't live without and look at all the stuff that's left you know you might have you know electronic gadgets and you know extra clothes that maybe you could donate or you know extra ipads you know who knows what you got right i mean we had we had a huge cd collection believe it or not we had cds right and and we had uh, some old dvds you wouldn't believe how fast we sold all that stuff online. They were gone in no time. You wouldn't believe. There's a lot of people that want to buy those things. Just try selling your stuff. We had an iPad, sold it like that. We had a couple of old iPhones, sold them like that. We sold furniture. We went from two cars to one car. So my wife and I, you know, we literally sat down and like had a heart to heart conversation. Like how many times do we actually need to be in two different places at the same time? And it, Hey, you know, the brutal truth of the fact is simply this. There weren't very many times that we had to be in two different places at the same time. So we went for it. We went down to one car. Um, you know, clothes. You know, I've got two or three shirts that I wear over and over again, you know, and we don't buy anything else. So at the end of the day, look around and take a look at all the things that you've got and think about the things that you couldn't live without and the things that you could live without. This is an important exercise because actually getting rid of some of this excess stuff, you know, um, is kind of like facing an initial fear, an initial apprehension about getting rid of stuff that you've always had, because you're going to feel that again when you actually start to go down the path of pulling the plug and going on a sabbatical, you know, like quitting your job and things like that. You're going to feel that same apprehension again. So this is a great first exercise. But here's a little twist. The things that you love, don't give them up. Take this for example. This is my mountain bike here. It's covered in mud <laughs> right now. We've been riding all day. These mountain bikes that we bought for ourselves are not cheap. They're pretty expensive. And so it kind of seems like it would fly in the face of a minimalist lifestyle to have an expensive carbon fiber mountain bike, right? But we love this. We ride three, four times a week, as many times a week as we possibly can. We love it. And we're out here all the time riding. 
don't give up or sell something that you really love. So earlier in this video, I mentioned like getting rid of clothes or, you know, just having two or three shirts or whatever. Look, if your passion is like fashion and accessories, <laughs> hey, it's cool. Have a, have, a, have a closet full of clothes. That's fine. You know, it, it, this is going to be unique and different to every one of us, right? But go through the exercise of getting rid of stuff that you really don't need and you really don't want. It really frees your mind. It's actually kind of relaxing to not be so cluttered and have all this stuff that you got to keep up with, you know, like extra Kindles and iPads and just gadgets and stuff and books. And whenever you don't have this stuff anymore, you don't have to like keep up with it. It's actually kind of liberating. You know what I mean? The trick now is to not replace any of that stuff. Keep your money. Put all that money into savings, invest it, whatever it is that you want to do. I'm certainly not a, a financial advisor by any stretch of the imagination. Don't replace anything that you sell or get rid of. The minimalist lifestyle applies too to purchases. So if you have enough money, for example, to buy a $50,000 car, hey, great. Buy a $20,000 car. Nobody cares what you're driving. <laughs> take 30 grand and put it away that, that you would have spent otherwise. You could, you could take a year off of 30 grand. Um, the, the same thing applies to everything. You know, whether it's a cup of coffee that, you know, you spend, you know, maybe hundreds of dollars a year on. Maybe give that up and brew your own coffee, you know, whatever. But it's going to be different for everybody. But look at the things that you're tempted to purchase. And ask yourself, do I want to purchase this or do I want to go on a sabbatical? I think you'll find that many times that your purchases are the result of what we call a passive mindset, which is where we think we want to buy stuff because we see it advertised, it's in propaganda, it's in the news, it's in a movie, it's you know the next trending cool thing that everybody has. But ask yourself, do I really need it? And what I really would rather you know, put this toward a sabbatical. Hey, at the end of the day, it's Thursday. I'm on my mountain bike. It's a beautiful day because I made simple little sacrifices that at the time it seemed like a sacrifice, but looking back, <laughs> it's no sacrifice. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's no sacrifice. You know, another thing too, I thought I'd mention too, is we cut our cable. We don't have cable anymore. We don't watch TV. We spend our time, you know, mountain biking, doing things we want to do, or learning. But that saves, I don't even, it's been so long since I've had cable, I don't even know how much it is, but if it's a hundred bucks a month, that's $1,200 a year you could put towards a sabbatical. So look at all that stuff, consider it, put yourself in a mindset of minimalism in whatever means or context that is to you, and just watch how fast your money builds up. And you can make something like this a reality. How cool, huh? All right. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you around. And uh, hopefully uh, you found this video useful. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you have any other ideas, maybe something glaring that I didn't even bring up today that you think would be cool for me to bring up on, in another video. And, uh, well, you know, we'll get on it. So, all right. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you on sabbatical.